Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Rachel Colton of r and C and today I'm bringing you a project that was suggested to me by one of my viewers. She had seen the crochet and button ear savers that people are making for our heroes on the front lines wearing surgical masks every day and she asked if the same idea could be accomplished with macrame. So today I'm showing you how to make a macrame ear saver. What you're going to need for this project is your string. I'm gonna be using three millimeter single strand cotton string in the color Dusty Rose. You're also going to need a sharp pair of scissors to cut your string and to trim your project at the end. There are two ways you can go about doing this project. You can either use three long strings cut to about 130 inches each that you will double over a dowel rod using a lark's head knot. Alternatively, you could use six individual strings cut to about 65 inches each and you can secure them to a clipboard or something similar so that you can work on your lap or another flat surface. Before we get started, I'm going to show you how these work. They work best if they're worn above a ponytail or a bun, otherwise they slip down your neck. So if you wanted to wear them underneath a ponytail or bun, you could buy a long hair barrette and glue that onto the back. Otherwise, what you want to do is put your mask on over your ears and I'll just pull this down so you can hear me. Then you wanna hold your ear saver above your ponytail, take the loops and put them around the berry knots. This will relieve some of the pressure from your ears and it'll also give you a little extra style while you're wearing your surgical mask. So let's get started. If you are working with three long strings on a dowel rod, as I'm doing today, what you need to do is attach them with a lark's head knot. So you're going to take your first string, line up the two loose ends, then find your way to the center, which now has a loop. Take that loop over your dowel rod, pull it down behind, and then take your loose ends, feed them through the loop, pull them through, and then pull down to tighten. And that's a lark's head knot. So you're gonna do that same thing with your other two strings, loose ends, loop in the middle over the dowel rod, Pull the strings through and tighten. Once your strings are secure, we're ready to start our pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the third string from the right and we're going to hold it at a diagonal going toward the left. Then we're gonna take the next string toward the left and we're gonna make double clove hitch knots along this diagonal. So this one goes over, this one comes behind, then it goes around in front, kind of makes this four shape, then it comes around behind and through that loop, and then you want to sort of tug down on it and then tighten it up to the top. You're going to repeat that. Now your string is over here, your working string. So you're going to bring it in front, then it's going to go around behind and through the loop, then pull down and tighten it to the top. Repeat that with the next string to the left. First it goes behind, then over in front, then around behind and through the loop. Tug down first, then tighten up. And you want to do that two times. Now it's over here, around in front, behind and through the loop, 
tug down and pull tight. And then with your final string to the left, you're gonna repeat that same double clove hitch knot. Now we're gonna do the other side of the diamond. So we're gonna take the third string from the right again, and we're gonna pick up the next string to the right. It comes behind, then over in front, around behind, through the loop, pull down and tighten to the top. Then repeat, now it's over here. So bring it around front, behind and through the loop, tug down and tighten. Repeat that with the next string in front, around, behind and through, pull down and up. This is the top of our first diamond. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to make a series of three square knots using just the center four strings. And then we're gonna turn that series of three square knots into a berry knot. So to make a square knot with these center four strings, take the rightmost string, bring it across the other three, then take the left string on top of the one you just crossed, behind the two in the center, up through this loop on the side, and then tighten. Now we're gonna leave a little bit of space up here. We're gonna need these holes to complete our berry knot. So that's the first half of the square knot. To complete it, you're gonna do the opposite. So take the left string, in front of the center two, take this right string on top of that one, behind the center two, up through this loop on the side, and then pull tight to match the other half. Now we're gonna repeat this three times. So now to the right again, over the center two, left comes in front of that one, behind the center two, up through the loop, pull tight, and now do the opposite side, left in front, right on top, behind, through the loop, and tighten. That's two knots, so you need to do one more square knot. Once you have three square knots in the center, we're going to create the berry knot by taking the two center strings and we're gonna feed them through these holes at the top. So the rightmost center string will go through the right hole, just fold it over, push it through and pull the string through the back and then leftmost string through the left hole, feed it through and pull it through the back and then you're gonna tug down on those strings and push those square knots up into a little ball. And now to secure that little ball, we're gonna take the two strings on the side and we're gonna guide them around this and make a square knot underneath. So take the right string over, left on top, behind and through, and then as you tighten that knot, just guide it around the little ball and then tighten it underneath and there's your berry knot. So complete that square knot at the bottom. And then we're ready to complete the diamond. So I'm gonna take this right string. It's gonna go at a diagonal toward the center. Pick up the next one toward the left. It's coming behind, over in front, around behind and through, tug down and tighten and repeat. 
And then pick up the next string behind, around front, behind and through, and repeat. And then we need to do the other side. So to complete the diamond on this side, take the leftmost string. This will go across at a diagonal. Pick up the next one to the right. It's coming behind, then around front, behind and through the loop, pull down and tighten. And then repeat around front, behind and through the loop, pull down and tighten. Then pick up the next string. And now that we've reached the center, we're going to continue going all the way across to start our next diamond. So I'm going to keep picking up the next string over to the right and forming that double clove hitch knot till I get all the way to the other side. So now we've started to form our second diamond. To make the other side, we need to find the third string from the left, and we're going to form our diagonal clove hitch knots going in the opposite direction. So at this point, what you need to do is you need to create another berry knot, just like we did here by doing a series of three square knots, then feed those center strings through the holes at the top, and then form another square knot around your berry knot to secure it in place. Once your second berry knot is complete, you're going to form the bottom half of the diamond just like we did before. And remember when you get to this left side, you're going to continue all the way across to start forming the top of your third diamond. And then you're just going to continue with this pattern until you have at least four of these berry knots and diamonds. And then I'll show you how to close up your project and trim it. Once you get to the center of your final diamond, instead of taking the knots all the way across, you're just going to form one last double clove hitch knot in the center to close up that diamond, and then you're going to stop there. So once you have your four diamonds and berry knots, you're just going to take your dowel rod off of your hooks and then just slide those lark's head knots off of the rod. And then you just take these knots and unfold them. After you unfold your knots, you just want to snip them in the center so that they're all individual strands. And I like to just tug on them a bit to tighten up the knots just to make sure they're not going to go anywhere while you're wearing your project. And then you just want to trim these to your desired length. I do about a half inch to three quarter inches. And if you want to use something to measure and get an exact length, you can. Otherwise, you can just eyeball it and follow the diagonal of the diamond. But you just want to trim those to about the same length on all four sides. And if you would like, you can comb these out with a fine tooth comb, but they will fray on their own as you wear them as well. So this is our finished ear saver. I hope that you enjoyed this project and that you will give it a try. Please like and subscribe and be well.